Well, let's get ready to rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shimbook, and as always, I am back with another banger for you guys. And today, have you ever guy, have you had, whoa, well, have you, have any of you had symptoms of stress or anxiety? Because stress and anxiety, they're interchangeable. You can have stress or anxiety or both because stress can lead to an to anxiety and anxiety can lead to stress well uh, today i'm going over the definitions um ways to prevent stress ways to prevent anxiety and basically what is the difference between the two and all that stuff so without further ado let's get into it so the difference between stress and anxiety instead of giving you my definition i have it pulled up right here so uh right here most people experience stress and anxiety at some point in their lives depending on the level of severity they can impact one quality of life although stress and anxiety share many of the same emotional and physical symptoms uneasiness tension headaches high blood pressure loss of sleep they have very different origins to the feeling better um so here's a definition of stress generally stress is a response to an external cause such as tight deadline at work or having an argument with a friend and subsides once the situation has been resolved because stress is caused by external factors tackling tackling these hand head on can help if you're experiencing prolonged well, chronicle, well, I could not read, Chron chronic, yeah, chronic stress, I can read, <laughs> there are many ways to manage and reduce your symptoms, including physical activity, breathing, exercises, ad adequate sleep, and taking time to connect with others so those are some of the ways to prevent stress I'll go back and talk about more of those um, later on in the video but let's talk about anxiety now this is the definition I guess you could say for anxiety anxiety is a person's specific reaction to stress its origin is internal anxiety is typically characterized as a persist persi well I could I could I could read persistent feeling of apprehension or dread in situations that are not actually threatening unlike stress anxiety pers persists even after a concern has passed in more severe cases anxiety can escalate into an anxiety disorder most common medical health issue in the u.s anxiety disorders are classified as a variety variety of ways generalized anxiety panic disorder etc 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 um post traumatic stress disorder P PTSD um <coughs> excuse me oh dying over here um so basically those are the definitions of stress and anxiety now I'm basically going to focus on this specific um cite and talk about the specific things so 
going back to stress, let's let's look at some of the me- some things that um, can manage that you can manage to prevent and reduce stress. How to reduce stress? Um, first step in dealing with stress is to re- recognize its warning signs. Emotional symptoms, anxiety, fear, anger, resentment, loss of confidence, which obviously a lot of people have stress and anxiety. And I, for one, have dealt with stress and anxiety in some sort of way in my life. Everybody has. You cannot tell me that one person in America or even in the world has not experienced stress or anxiety in some shape or form in their life. Um, you know, that, so that was some of the emotional symptoms. Um, some physical symptoms is dry mouth. Sweatness, pounding or racing, heartbeat, chest tightness, chest tightness, whoa, and difficulty breathing, muscle tension, headache, dizziness. So that's some, so that's some physical symptoms of stress. Uh, behavioral symptoms. Nervous, be, nervous habits such as nail biting or pacing, drinking more coffee or alcohol, Eating too much or too little, sleeping poorly, acting bashly, brashly, or unreasonably, losing your temper, being inconsiderate to others, and neg- 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 your responsibilities, neglecting. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Well, um, yeah. So there are some warning signs: emotional, physical, behavioral. Um, that either you have experienced or you've experienced from others. They could be caught. They could. Be having some sort of stress in their life whether it's family issues work issues relationship issues even um, so those are some signs that can cause stress so let's go to actually let's let's, let's stick on stress so some some ways to manage stress which could be physical activity like basketball, football, baseball, running, jogging, gym, etc. Some physical activity. Breathing exercises. I do this a lot. Um, When I get stressed, I breathe in three times, out three times. Breathe in three times, out three times. And when I do this, it helps me relax and, you know, think, okay, you know, I'm going to be fine. Like, just take it one step at a time. Everything's going to be fine. You know, that sort of thing. Basically, re regather my thoughts. I do, I do that all the time. Um, adequate sleep. Um, adequate sleep, eh, I haven't had that um yet i should say um but i've had other people tell me stories that they have had adequate sleep due to stress um and it's i guess it just depends on how big of the stress is i guess And taking time to connect with others. That is definitely a positive um, 
is when you are dealing with stress is just to now focus on that stress and kind of just you know hanging out with friends talking to friends about your stress and maybe they can help you deal with or talk to you and give you suggestions on how to deal with that stress um going back to physical activity for a moment um i do physical activity um i work out at home obviously uh occasionally i go to the gym it's not often though um but i um i run i walk i jog i do push-ups sit-ups all that stuff uh, occasionally i'll go to the to the park and i'll play football and basketball and all that good stuff as well um that helps me release my stress um so basically if you are dealing with stress or anxiety get help um let me i'll come back to that i know i'm kind of all over the place bear with me um let's go to anxiety so basically anxiety is internal and it's typically categorized by a persistent feeling of apprehension or dread huh classified anxiety disorders are classified in various ways what ways move to here Oh, okay. Feeling of tension, worry, uh, thoughts. So, some. Uh, it, this website didn't have as much as the other website did. Like, where the other website before, like I showed you guys before, it had like emotional, physical, all that, behavioral. This one just has physical symptoms which is sweating trembling dizziness or rapid heartbeat same thing it, stress and anxiety kind of intertwined they basically have the same symptoms um it's just that had stress has more symptoms because it can be emotional physical behavioral Whereas anxiety, it's more like the like the the website says it's more internal. The web, anxiety is more internal than it is external. Where stress, it's external. You can you can see it, whereas anxiety you can't because anxiety it's you can't you can only feel it. Nobody else can. Whereas stress, depending on what you're going through, people see that stress, see that emotional, see that physical, see that behavioral stress. I hope that I hope this is making sense. Uh, if it's not, I apologize. So persistent feelings of apprehension or dread. Um. Huh. Anxiety is, is one of the most common medical health issues in the United States. Huh. That I was not aware of. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I was aware of it, but I didn't know it was the one of the most common. Uh, muscle tension, rapid heartbeat. In so in some insomnesia. Hmm. Twenty sometimes 
Uh, stress is trigger anxiety. So stress can trigger anxiety. Anxiety can be a symptom of extreme stress. Many symptoms like muscle tension, rapid heartbeat, and amnesia. Add somnesia, insomnesia. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, basically, like I said, they intertwine with each other. Um, Huh. Oh, I completely, the real difference between stress and anxiety. Here we go. Number one, stress is unusual, unusual, <coughs> jeez, I can, well, stress is usually the result of external pressures, obviously. Basically, stress from peer pressure or family uh, problems, relationship problems, that sort of thing. Anxiety keeps hanging around after the problem is resolved. That is true. That is true. I've had some friends talk to me about their anxiety, and I've even had some anxiety um in my lifetime anxiety involves needless needless worry that's true yeah I, I i've had some sort of that i guess you can say panic attacks are a sign of anxiety not stress i have not had a panic attack not yet i don't believe so i might have to think about that but I, I've had some people that have had some panic attacks. I've seen panic attacks. Um, yeah, it's not a pretty sight. Um, I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So basically, let me bring in a one screen here. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Basically, I hope I tried to make it as undifficult as possible. If I made it difficult or impossible to understand, I apologize. I know I was kind of all over the place talking about anxiety, then stress, then anxiety, then stress, then anxiety, then stress. Uh, I hope it all made sense. Um... I'm kind of underneath the weather a little bit still. Uh, I've had this since last Wednesday, so I'm kind of neat, still underneath the little weather. Um, my 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 voice is a little hoarse still. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I hope this video made sense. I just wanted to clarify and um. You know, kind of go over the difference between stress and anxiety because I know a lot of people think that they are the same. They technically are, but they intertwine with um, some symptoms. But stress has more stress has more symptoms than anxiety. Stress is external. A uh, anxiety is internal, and it's. A lot of people will try to get, a lot of people seem to get those confused. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just, you know, overthinking it or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a, this is a real life topic that a lot of people have. And I feel like I want to give you guys my input and my, my, opinion on this subject because i know a lot of people have it i know i i've dealt with stress i've dealt with anxiety <clears throat> and it's not a pretty sight
uh, especially when I'm stressed, it is not a pretty sight. Um, so when I, how I deal with stress, and I, 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 um, I kind of uh, touched on this a little bit, but when I'm stressed, I, I do the, I do breathing exercises, I do a physical activity. Um, 